vehicle that breaking news out on the roadways this morning affecting your commute. Now we'll get right to Brianne Carter. She's been live on the scene of I-95 there all morning long. Brianne, what can you tell us now? Jimmy, happening right now. The lanes are back open. Take a live look here on the inner loop of the Beltway. You can see traffic is once again moving after that early morning tractor trailer crash. You can see that traffic coming up. A lot of these people have been stuck in that backup for almost two hours now this morning. Now, we have learned, just speaking to Maryland State Police, that it was not only a tractor trailer involved, but also a SUV that was involved as well. Just moments ago, both that tractor trailer and that SUV were taken away here from the scene. Crews worked quickly to clean up the fuel spill that was associated with this to get these lanes back open. And as you can see, traffic once again is moving. Let's turn things over now to Jack Taylor at WTOP to look at other roads across the region. Jack. Well, at least we've got that going for us now. The unfortunate situation remains in Maryland on 216 southbound on I-95. News Chopper 7 has been flying over the scene. We're trying to get some travel lanes by now on 95 southbound. You're going to get by to the left. All traffic was being diverted onto 216. So so things are looking up a bit in Maryland with lanes again open. Two to the left on 95 south at 216 and at least two or three lanes on the inner loop of the Beltway where Brienne was on scene as well. So things are looking up a bit just in time for when the bad weather continues to roll through.